Hello, friends. It's me, that Dan Driscoll, here with another Chance Tober. Today's prompt is the natural science version of Inktober. And as chance would have it, today is the 21st day of October, and I misread and am drawing the 22nd day's prompt, which is cartography. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what I'd be doing, but I really wasn't interested in drawing a map. I just didn't have it in me today to draw a map. So, what I have done today is draw a picture of Gerardus Mercator, 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 Gerardus Mercator, we'll go with that, Mercator is a world-famous cartographer. He was born in 1512. And in his lifetime, he was known for his maps and globes that he created. He actually made so many that they still, many of them still survive. I'll have to check eBay after this to see if I can find one. He is most remembered for creating the 1569 world map, which was based on a lot of projections and sailing in a constant bearing called rumble lines. There's a lot here about maps that I'm not going to go into because I will make mistakes. But uh, there's a lot of really interesting things here. If I had known, maybe I would have become a cartographer instead of here I am. But uh, very interesting. Google it. There's a lot there. But yeah, he made terrestrial and celestial globes. So earth and sky. You, the irony here is that he was not a traveler. He was not much of a traveler. He got most of his information from his library, his personal library, over a thousand books, which is impressive today as it was back then. He also had a lot of correspondence in over in six six different languages, so he was no slouch when it came to the brains. So not too shabby. So you can see I've made some mistakes in this sketch just didn't like how the uh, compass was going for the uh, that bottom part and then you know after thinking about it none of it none of this left side was working for me so there is a very small representation of his world map which Honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't, you can't make it out, but it's there. That's what it is. Promise. And here's a, a, a more solid attempt at a uh, compass, which is, represented, which is represented in other portraits of him in uh, the literature I could find about him online. The uh, 
historical representation of him is uh, slightly varied, but almost every drawing and painting had that hat, which is a pretty cool hat. I might have to try to find one. So this is it, my friends. Portrait of a cartographer. As I was saying earlier, this is the wrong day. I'm a day ahead, but uh, chances are tomorrow will not be a natural science version of Inktober. And if it is, maybe I'll do whatever I got or was supposed to do yesterday. So go out, look at a paper map, think about this guy well before Google or MapQuest even. And think about this guy not traveling outside his hometown and making uh, maps that he's still known for today. If you have a moment, please share and like and if you think you know someone who might dig this video, let them know. And uh, thanks. All right. Goodbye.